Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in so long. Life has been super crazy. As most of you know, we're all in the same boat with all that's going on. We've been in quarantine for just over six weeks and we just found out that our son's school is going to be closed the remainder of the year. Normally the kids are in school here in upstate New York until the very end of June. So that's pretty substantial. He's been out of school since mid-March and then all of April. Obviously, he'll be out all of May and all of June. So, it's been a lot with homeschooling. I'm still working my full-time job from home, and then obviously trying to juggle everything else that goes along with running a household. So, I've had this basket sitting up here in my, we have four bedrooms, so we have an upstairs bedroom um, that's kind of like our catch-all room. I've been wanting to film this video for like four days, but I just haven't had time. And now everything's just crazy with scrambling to figure out what we're going to do this, these coming next couple months, because normally Grady would be in school, my husband and I, and I would be at work, but we're still on quarantine, so it's been a lot. Anyways, I thought this would be a great opportunity since I have a chunk of time to film this. I love filming empties videos. I know a lot of you guys love watching empties videos. I do have a whole playlist of empties videos in case you're just finding my channel and you need more or want to watch more empties videos because I know they can be really addicting. Oh, I actually have so many products that almost made the cut for this video, like probably a dozen products that I can think of off the top of my head that'll be finished in less than a week. So I debated waiting, but I'm going to stop rambling and just get into it and show you everything that I used up the past couple months, a quick little mini review on it, if I liked it, if I would repurchase it. And I have a feeling I'll be doing another empties video sooner than I normally do. I've been trying to do them like every two and a half to three months, but I think the next one is going to be closer to like two months away because again, I have a lot of products that are almost done. So let's get into it. Um, I have a couple things I threw in here that I um, use for my son. And one of them is this probiotic gummy for kids. It is by Mav Nutrition. I get them on Amazon. I can link them down below in case you want to check them out. Uh, my son has gastro problems that are pretty common with kids with autism. So I find that these just help his digestion. And they're pretty inexpensive. I think they're like between $10 and $15 a bottle. And he's pretty picky about vitamins and food, anything that he's eating and ingesting. And he really likes these. So, and they seem to work as well. So I just thought I would mention that. Um, again, I'll put the link down below in case you want to read up on them and look, look at the reviews. And then the other item that I put in here that I've been using, or actually I should say my son uses, is this Aussie Kids 3-in-1 Melon Head um, Scent Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash All-in-One. So it's a three-in-one. It does have a pump top. It's large. My son's been showering on his own independently since he was about maybe six years old. Um, he's eight now, and this just makes it easy for him to not worry about, like, which bottle is which. It's a three-in-one, so he knows he can wash his hair and wash his body with this. Kind of random, but I wanted to share that because it's inexpensive. It's a good product. I like the Aussie brand, um, and it's just convenient for younger kids. I feel that just don't have time to fuss with a bunch of different products. The rest of the stuff is all things that I have used up. So there's a couple wipes. I don't know if there's another one hiding in here, but we'll find out. So I've got a Burt's Bee Micellar Makeup Removing Towelette 3 in 1. Um, these, I can't remember where I got. I either got them from somebody or I got these in that big CVS huge product um like cosmetic and you know health health and beauty haul that i did i think right after christmas i stocked up and got a ton of different um stuff like this in that haul um and actually most of that stuff is now gone so it was really good that i stocked up but anyways these were okay i don't remember loving them but i don't remember hating them so i'm just going to go with they were okay probably wouldn't repurchase them. Um, a wipe brand and, or product that I've been loving for a couple years now are these Target brand, the Up and Up brand. They are the Cucumber Exfoliating Wet Cleansing Towelettes. They're like $1.99. 
They are some of the best wipes I've ever used, face wipes. If you don't like the exfoliating type, you won't like these because they do have texture to them, but I love them. I have nothing bad to say and will definitely will continue to repurchase those. I went through a bottle of the Nivea. This is the 48 hour moisture, essentially enriched with almond oil. I've talked about this more in length in previous empties videos. My friend Gigi got me onto this a few years ago and I really do love it. I don't solely use this. I like to switch up my body lotions and my body washes constantly, but this is one that I always come back to, um, you know, at some point on a regular basis. It is a great lotion, very moisturizing. However, I've mentioned before, because it has the almond oil in it, it has a different texture and different, like it doesn't soak in the way that a normal lotion would. It's just, it's hard to explain. Um, but if you purchase this and you are kind of weirded out by the by the way that it applies and stays on your skin. Just give it a shot. Like, just give it more time because eventually you get used to it and it's very, very hydrating. It just takes a little time to get used to the almond oil. You'll see what I mean if you try it. I did not like this product. I actually got it at TJ Maxx, or no, sorry, Marshalls. Um, it was $3.99 at Marshalls. It's the L'Oreal Micellar Cleansing Water. Got this a while ago, but I just obviously recently used it up. I didn't like it. I just didn't feel like it did anything. I have heard people say that beauty products from Marshalls or TJ Maxx can be sometimes like old or expired. So I don't know if that was the case. It didn't seem to be like old. I just didn't, it just didn't do anything for me. I don't know. I would never purchase, repurchase that again though. I also went through a Live Clean Coconut Milk Body Lotion. I actually also got this at TJ Maxx, and I've repurchased these several times. Um, if you've watched my empties videos for a while now, I think, or one of my hauls, I don't know what video it was, but I, I bought like three of these because first I bought one, fell in love, and went back and kept looking for it, and finally ended up buying like three of them when I found them because they're like hardly ever in stock. It is a Canadian company. This is the coconut milk. Um, apparently they sell it on Amazon. We've also tried the body wash version of this product and the hand wash and I like all three. So I would continue to repurchase this. It's $3.99 at TJ Maxx. But as you know, all the TJ Maxx's are closed, at least here in New York. So it's been a long time since I've set foot in a TJ Maxx and I can't wait to get back when they finally reopen, which who knows when that's going to be here in New York. Um, another product I did not like is this Tom's of Maine Wicked Fresh Peppermint Wave. I think I purchased this from Grove a while back. Um, you can also get it at Walmart and Target. Maybe I got it at Walmart or Target, but I know Grove has it as well. I really normally like Tom's products, but I did not like this mouthwash because it did not make... It doesn't have like that minty, invigorating, like... I don't know. It doesn't have that like really refreshing mouthwash vibe going on. It just seems like it's watered down. I don't know. I, I know that this is an alcohol-free product, so obviously that's kind of the kicker, but I don't know. It just wasn't my cup of tea. If you're not into that kind of mouthwash burn, you probably would like this. A uh, couple Bath & Body Works body washes. This one is the Black Cherry Merlot, which I got at the semi-annual sale in January, and it was like a dollar... 75 um, because it was the in the 75% off bin and then I had coupons. Really liked it. I, I've talked about this before too. I love and enjoy the Bath and Body Works body washes in the tubes. Not a huge fan of the ones in the clear bottles. I don't hate them by any means, but I never buy them. But I do like the ones in the tubes like this. It's like a 10 ounce tube. And I was very happy to pick up, I think I got like three of these at the semi-annual sale because of the fact they were like a dollar, you know, 75 or whatever. Also the same product in Saltwater Breeze. This is a newer uh, scent. I purchased it right when the scent came out, which I can't even remember when it was. I want to say the beginning of March, but I, it could be February. It's a very like beachy, um, typical beachy kind of a scent. Um, I don't know if it has the notes. Yes, it says saltwater breeze, fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. But I don't know. It's kind of beachy. It doesn't have like beachy notes from what it says here, but 
it has like a beachy i don't know it's it's nice though i think i would repurchase i would definitely repurchase this product i would probably just try out different scents this was a shampoo that i really liked a lot it's the garnier fructis damage repairing treat shampoo with papaya extract comes in this cute little like juice looking bottle which caught my eye. I'm a big sucker for packaging. It always sucks me in. Um, but I actually really liked it. It didn't blow my mind, but I, I thought it was better than average. It definitely, I don't know, it was good. I, I, I think Garnier products are pretty good for hair, um, at least a lot of the ones that I've tried. I don't know if I'd run out and repurchase this right now, but I would definitely not, you know, be sad if I got another bottle at some point. Um, it was really nice, and it smelled really, really good as well. This shampoo I really love. I actually have one in my shower as we speak. It's the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. And it is the avocado. Um, I, I guess it has avocado in it, although it doesn't smell like it. It actually smells really, really good. I've been a big Aussie fan for many years. I've talked about this product zillions of times. I have used this exact product, the packaging has changed over the years, for literally 15 years. 15 years. It's one of my holy grail products for sure. Definitely like in my top 10 all time holy grail for all categories, you know, hair, body, skin, makeup. I love this product. I've gotten so many people onto it. My mom, who's super picky, even loves this. A little goes a long way. I only use it like twice a week because I only wash my hair like three to four times a week and I'll use this like every other time. It's a really great like mini mask for your hair. You can definitely tell a difference. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it for somebody who has super super oily hair. Maybe just put it like on your ends where you're dry but I love it. It's inexpensive. It's effective. It definitely is just an amazing product and this is sort of the matching. It is the matching shampoo to it and I really love this shampoo. I like it much better than this one and I did like this one if that tells you anything. This is a body wash I tried after I saw another YouTuber that I watch. Um, her channel is called Young, Wild, and Polished. I'm sure some of you watch her or, you know, subscribe to her. She has a pretty big channel. Um, she doesn't really do empties videos anymore, unfortunately, because I absolutely love her empties videos. She's just hilarious, and I like hearing her recommendations and what she likes and doesn't like. Um, but anyways, if you want to check her channel out, her, again, it's Young, Wild, and Polished, and she has an empties playlist. I don't know. She just makes me laugh. But anyways, she had talked about this, I think a couple times, um, in some of her videos and like empties videos that she really enjoyed this. So I decided I would try it. It is the caress evenly gorgeous. Um, it's the burnt brown sugar and Karide, Karite. I don't know how to pronounce that butter. Um, I liked it. I'm a Dove girl though, you guys know if you've been watching my empties, I love Dove body wash the best. So far I haven't found anything that I personally like more, um, but I thought this was okay. I actually really wasn't that impressed. For one, the pump, I have a love-hate with pumps. Once it got to like here, it got weird. Like the pump wouldn't pump much out. I had to unscrew the top and pour it on my loofah. I know, it's just a small thing, but it's just a little pet peeve of mine. I just wish products with pumps would be designed so they would pump all the product out. I know it's just a stupid little thing, but it bugs me. But anyways, I don't think I would repurchase this again. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. The way that I know that I love a product, I just can't wait to use it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm thinking about it. I know that might be weird, but I didn't have that feeling with this, unfortunately. I found it just to be okay. I really like this product. It's the Kristen S, which is from Target, and it's the Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it's a very, like, fine mist when you spray it. This bottle, I swear, lasted me, I want to say, like, nine months. Again, I only wash my hair about three to four times a week, um, and I use this, used this every time when I got out of the shower. It was a great leave-in conditioner. It didn't make my hair, like, oily or greasy or weird. It's just a wonderful product. I would definitely repurchase this. In fact, I think the last time I went to Target, which was a while ago, I meant to pick this up and I just forgot. It's like 10-ish dollars. The price might have gone up because I literally bought this like a year ago and it took me, I swear, like nine months to use up. It was a really nice product. 
face wash. I'm surprised I only have one in here. I almost find that hard to believe, but maybe that's the case. Nope. Okay. I knew I had more than one. So this is a product I've used many, 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 many times over the years. It's the Neutrogena Deep Clean Invigorating Foaming Scrub. We actually have one in the shower now that's, I think, like almost empty. Um, nothing bad to say. It's a great, like, simple drugstore scrub. You guys know, also, I'm a scrub girl. I'm an exfoliating girl. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, and I get it. We all have different skin, and our skin all has different needs, but I just personally love to exfoliate and use, like, a scrub on my skin, like, once a day. Um, another one that I went through was this Biore Blue Agave and Baking Soda Balance Pore Cleanser. Um, you can see a little bit of what it looked like. It does have like exfoliating beads, but it's not quite as like hardcore as this one. This one is very like minty-ish feeling, like very invigorating. Great in the shower, that's where we use it. Um, this was a this was a little better than okay. I wouldn't run out and repurchase it. There's another Biore product that looks just like this, but a different label. I can't remember the name right now. That's a scrub in a pump top that I like a lot better than this. I want to say it's like the Free Your Pores line. Um, but this was okay. It was good. I just didn't like love it. So I don't think I would buy that one. This is a more recent Holy Grail product. It's the First Aid Beauty brand facial radiance pads. I discovered this, I want to say maybe three years ago. I absolutely love these, and I've talked about these at length before. Um, I personally notice a difference in my skin when I am not using these, like if I run out. And it's a bummer because I, I meant to order like two or three of these during the Sephora VIB sale, but I was too late to the party and they were completely sold out, and I'm not surprised because they are that great of a product. I love these. I think they're really good for problem skin, and honestly, I think no matter what type of skin that you have, somebody, you know, could benefit from these. I use them once a day, and I absolutely love them. I have noticed the price has creeped up quite a bit, though, in just three short years. I think when I first discovered these, they were around 25-ish, which is not cheap, but now I think they're like up to $32 or $34, which is an, an insane price jump, I think, for just a short amount of time. But it is what it is. I will still continue to repurchase these because I love them that much. Another recent-ish, probably more recent than these, Holy Grail product for me is the Bosha. This is the Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. They recently changed the packaging. It used to be clear, and now it's like this mint green color. It's actually a beautiful color, but I don't like the packaging functionality because the other bottle, you could see the product and see how much you had left. This you can't. Obviously, you can feel engaged, but I like to see the product if possible. I know that's probably weird, but I love this product. It's not cheap. It's like 30... 30 between 30 and $32. I think they recently had a price increase as well. But I love it, and I will continue to repurchase it. I actually have to pick one up because another one, the other one that I have is just about to run out. So that's another thing that I should have picked up at the Sephora sale, but I didn't. I was very late to the party. I went through this um, Soap and Glory hand food. This is the Call of Fruity one. Um, this was really nice. I like the original hand food a lot. I've used it for years. This is like the little bit bigger of a tube. I got this at Target a while ago and I used this during the rough months. I don't know, February, January, February, um, March, April. Obviously, I just used it um, on my hands and I used it at night before bed. So it really had a good, you know, chunk of time to soak in. And I thought it was really, really nice and it smelled delicious. I would definitely pick that up again. This was a great makeup setting spray that I tried. I think I got this, I want to say in January, because I remember the day that I got it. Um, my best friend and I always go to, we don't see each other much because we live pretty far away. But when we see each other, we usually have our routine. We either go to lunch or like Starbucks. Sometimes if the weather's nice, which recently it hasn't been, and we haven't seen each other in a while too because of the quarantine, but anyways, I'm digressing. We usually go to lunch, and then we usually have a, this thing where we go to Sephora or like Ulta or something together. Um, she's actually an esthetician, so she loves products, and she's always like, she knows what's good. But anyways, I remember getting this with her when I went in, think in January. It's the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dewy Set 
makeup setting spray. Really liked this, really enjoyed it. It has a very similar bottle design to the MAC Fix Plus, which is another one that I love, but I really liked this. The only reason why I wouldn't run out and repurchase it right now is, A, I have another bottle of a different brand. It's the Scandinavia makeup setting spray that's full that I'm using, and I also like to try different makeup setting sprays, but I highly recommend this. It was an excellent setting spray, and it, it actually sprayed like all the way to the end, um, which is a, a big plus for me. Some toothpaste. I don't know if this is... Oh, I know what that is. Okay, so we went through nothing too exciting. A Sensodyne Fresh Mint. Eh, I didn't like this. I wouldn't repurchase it. Unfortunately, I bought a, two or three of them in that huge CVS haul I did after Christmas, and I wish I hadn't because I really wasn't a fan. I mean, it's great for the sensitive issue, but it, it just didn't do anything otherwise. Really loved this. The Crest Pro Health Advanced Whitening Power. Would definitely repurchase this. I'm not prone to one, I'm not like loyal to one particular toothpaste, but it was really nice. And this, out of the three, I loved the most, this one. This is one that I would seek out. It's the Colgate Sensitive Maximum Strength Whitening. I would seek this out. This was really good, like really good. Better than this, and I loved that. This is a really nice toothpaste. I highly recommend this. Even if you don't have sensitive teeth, it's a really, really good toothpaste. I did go through another perfume. I thought I had another one, but I could be imagining it. But anyways, this is a Michael Kors. Is this the rose gold? Michael Kors gold. Yes, Michael Kors rose gold. I've had this for a few years. I want to say like four years, but it still smelled really good. It didn't have like a weird foul expired smell, or obviously I would have chucked it. Um, but yeah, it took me... I would, I would say three and a half years to go through this. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it though. I was a big fan when I picked it up or somebody gifted it to me. I think I asked for it for Christmas or something. Um, I was a big fan, but my, my senses with smell are always changing. So I would no longer am really a fan. It's a nice scent. Um, I just wouldn't pick it up again, but I did enjoy it the, you know, three and a half years I used it. And then the last three products. This is a makeup primer that I've used on and off for probably three years. It's also by First Aid Beauty, which is who makes this product. I have used several of the First Aid Beauty brand products. Um, this is another favorite. It's the Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. So it's like a moisturizer and primer in one. Absolutely nothing bad to say um, at all. It's pretty inexpensive compared to a lot of the Sephora, you know, makeup primers. I think this is around 20-ish dollars, although it could have had a price jump. I, I can't keep up anymore. But it's a really nice primer for your makeup because it has that moisture element. I have nothing bad to say. And I would definitely repurchase this down the road, but right now I just don't need one. I'm using... Um, Actually, I already have another one of these that I'm using, but I have another primer um, that I have my eye on when that one's gone. But yeah, I'm already reusing. I already have another tube of this. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I have used this exact product on and off for probably over five years. Um, I, this, is a, this is a product that I buy like one full size tube of maybe once a year. It lasts forever. This is a like deluxe sample one ounce tube. It lasted forever. You need the tiniest amount. It gets super frothy. And this is actually not an exfoliator. It's like a legit wash. It is super frothy, super, it just leaves your skin feeling amazing. I highly recommend this. In fact, I think it's time on the next Origin sale that I need to pick up a full size. And the, a full size tube of this literally lasts me a full calendar year. I don't use it every day, but I'll go through phases where I will, like chunks at a time where I'll use it every day. It is a wonderful face wash that is not exfoliating. It's pretty reasonable for a higher end brand. Again, I don't keep up too well with price inflation, but I think it's around $25, but it is worth every penny of that. It's a great face wash. Lastly, I have this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I've used this on and off, not on a regular basis, for a few years. I got this with some kind of gift for purchase, like goodie bag type of thing, 
a while ago. I really, I kind of re-fell in love with it. I hadn't used this in a while. I re-fell in love with it, and I actually went on eBay last month, I believe, and I purchased a lot, like a small lot of three of this size. This is the .24 ounce. It's a teeny tiny bottle, but you need the tiniest amount, like a pea size drop, and it's just a wonderful product. I do see a difference, and it's very expensive if you buy it like retail in like the full size bottle. So if you're looking for an advanced night repair like serum, I would check eBay, obviously just check to make sure it's not expired and the seller has good feedback and all of that. I highly recommend this. I definitely see results and it's just a wonderful product. So that's everything in this empties. Sorry, the sun is shining right on me right now. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. And I hopefully will see you guys in a new video sooner than later. Bye, guys. Bye.